Yes, it's that time. Once again, we've got a brand new sound pack here, the Visions Alchemy Pack in Logic Pro for iPad. So in this video, I'm going to break it down and let you know all about it. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to Studio Live today. Let's dive in and check out this brand new sound pack. To download the new sound pack here in Logic Pro, you want to go down here to your sound pack library, tap the show more button, and right up the top here, you should see Visions Alchemy Pack. Tap on that one and hit the get button. While it downloads, let's talk about what you get in this pack. It's an alchemy focused pack. It's got more than 80 step sequence of pattern loops that you can play with, as well as 149 alchemy synth sounds and they're all very dark brooding atmospheric kind of sounds like you heard in the intro there you'll hear more about them in just a moment Oh, and if you're here in the future and you don't see it at the top here, just tap on Manage Packs, and this will bring up all of the different packs that you have. All you need to do is scroll down until you find the pack you want to download and hit the button there. And while that downloads, let's talk about GarageBand. Unfortunately, GarageBand does not get this pack in the sound library. In fact, the last couple of packs, we've seen Alchemy Synth really heavily focused on Logic Pro for iPad and not really updated in GarageBand. So it is what it is. That looks like it's going to be the way of the future. However, we did get the Dance Floor Rush and Magnetic Imperfection sound pack. So GarageBand's still getting some service, just not quite the level of depth that we're seeing in Logic. Okay. Okay, download has been completed. That did take a while and I did check and it is the largest sound pack that's actually ever been released apart from the studio strings and horns here in Logic Pro. So definitely set aside some time. Let's now dive in and see what's in the pack. Let's start a new project here in tracks mode here in Logic Pro by tapping on tracks and let's add a new instrument. We're going to start with MIDI and then tap the little three dots here and choose here from our patch or instrument. We can scroll down, go to synthesizer and then alchemy synth, hit create and we're ready to check out these sounds. And we're ready to... Start creating here in Alchemy Synth. Now to change the synth patch, which we definitely want to do, just double tap on the Alchemy there and it will load up your plugin presets over here. What we want to do is actually scroll down and tap on Browse Patches. And you'll see here it's already set us for Alchemy, but to get to these new patches, we need to tap here on the Filter button. And then here under Sound Packs, you need to scroll all the way across until we find this new pack called Visions. Tap on that one and hit done. And now if we drag this one down just to put it out of the way for a moment, you can see we've got all of the different sounds here that we can choose from. You've got bass sounds, you've got lead sounds, you've got pad sounds. There's a heap here to explore. Let's take a quick look at a couple of them now. Now we can preview any of these sounds by just tapping on the little button here and tapping again to stop. And then if we wanna add this sound, we just tap right there in the middle of it and you'll see here that it's been added here and now when we play down here on our keyboard, the sound is there. Chain reaction sounds interesting. Let's tap on that one and And you can hear here that some of these will be single sounds, some are arpeggiated sounds. There's a lot of things in here to explore. You'll also notice up the top here, you've got some other filters. So if you wanted, for instance, to just find the bass sounds, we can tap on bass there, and we've got all of the bass sounds from this pack. Dark Hammer sounds interesting. Oh yeah. So let's tap on that one, and let's hit record and just play in a little bass part here for our track. Quick edit of the wrong notes, and we're all good. Now, like all of our Alchemy synth sounds here, there's two ways to actually adjust the sound and the patch. One is the easy way, which is just to use this slider here to use some of the presets or to mix and match between a couple of different presets. Let's just show you how that works now as we play it back. So a quick and easy way to change up the sound using the presets. 
To get even more control, tap in the top right here to expand out, and then you'll have access to all of the different options that we have down here. You've got a bunch of different knobs and dials to change things like your cutoff and your resonance, as well as these X, Y sliders to mix and match between a couple of different effects. And that will change based on which Alchemy Synth sound you're using. To show you that, let's just change to this one here and you'll see that we get a whole bunch of different options and different presets that we can try. And there's a lot of very deep guttural kind of sounds in here. It's gonna be great for creating some cinematic soundscapes. Let's add another alchemy sound here. We'll hit the plus button. And once again, under MIDI, alchemy is already preset because we used it last time. Let's tap in the middle and we can do the same again. We can come down here to browse patches, hit the filter button and filter by visions. And this time we want more of a pad. So let's choose soundscapes here. And uh, why don't we try something like this one, dark forces. Hit the preview button. Not bad, what about dark whispers? Ooh, that one is very cool. Uh, let's try this one. Let's just add this to our project here. We're gonna hit record and record in. And you can hear with just the touch of a couple of keys, we've got ourselves the start of a really cool and creepy soundscape. And yes, we're not gonna go through all 149 patches. You can do that in your own time, but there are some amazing sounds in here, both melodic and more atmospheric, as you heard there. Now, as you would have seen in the notes, there is another way to use these sounds, and that's using the step sequencer as a pattern. So let's show you that now. We hit the plus button here. This time we're gonna to go to pattern. We're gonna tap the three dots. And again, make sure that patch or instrument here is set to synthesizer. Tap that one, tap on alchemy, and then hit create. Now, once again, we can set our patch by going to Browse Patches, Filter, scroll across and filter by the Visions Pack. Now we can hit Done and let's try Ambient Melody this time. Let's preview it and tap to add it. Now we can start just manually adding steps here to our sequencer like so, but with a melodic sound, uh, it's not gonna work perfectly. Let's hit the preview button on this one. I mean, that might be kind of cool. But what we also have is presets for patterns. To get to those over here in your browser, if it's not open, tap in the bottom left corner and then go back from instrument patches. And this time we wanna to go to patterns. And you'll see here, we've got a bunch of patterns here. You can search them as well. The problem is with patterns, there doesn't seem to be a way to filter them by just the new sound pack. If I'm missing something and you can do it somehow, someone out there is going to jump in the comments right now and show me how. But if we're going to experience experimental. There's some cool ones in here. Let's give one of these a go. Let's tap on majestic movement and you can see it's populated out a bunch of different cells in here. To preview it, we can tap in the top left. And tap again to stop. So I don't use the pattern browser a heap there's gonna be people that are gonna be able to tell you how to use this in a lot more detail, but I wanted to show you that this is actually there as well. And if we wanna go and check this out, if we double tap down the bottom there, we can see how this will sound with the rest of our soundscape. Actually kinda of cool. Yeah, we might want to stretch that out there to cover the whole lot. So yeah, you can use your pattern browser and then your step sequencer to use your alchemy synth sounds as well. And of course, you could use the step sequencer to then add some drums because this pack's mainly sort of atmospheric or melodic, melodic sounds. Or the other thing you can do is use the session player drummer to actually create some drum sounds. We wouldn't really want the pop rock one. We'll tap on that. We probably want more of our R&B kind of sound here. In fact, we don't even want an acoustic drummer. We'd want electronic, of course. So let's come down here and let's put like a bit of a trap beat behind that. That could kind of work. Let's just see what this sounds like out of the box. So 
So you can see that in just a couple of minutes, we can create some pretty rad sounds using this new sound pack. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. You can also leave your questions and your feedback down there as well. Don't forget, we've got a heap of other videos here on the channel all about Logic Pro and GarageBand and creating your best music. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.